We're in Fresno, California. We just finished installing this Mellon faucet. It's the Cabin, Cabon, 87966BRB. Uh, uh, anyway, so this label Mellon gives to you, so in the event you ever have trouble with the faucet, replacement parts, whatnot, uh, there's their phone number, model number, everything. You can just call them and refer to that. It's a limited lifetime warranty, so most of the parts in there, uh, they will replace for free. Five to seven uh, business day shipping. Uh, so you could go to moan.com and register it. That way they know who you are and where it's installed. Uh, underneath, everything's integrated. So you can see the hot and the cold um, supply lines. That's the hot side. It's integrated into the faucet. And again, over there, cold integrated into the faucet. Um, so that's part of the faucet itself. And then the hose, the pointy connection here is just a quick connect. A little black button there. You depress it and you slide the hose in place. Pull on it a little bit back and forth to make sure it's intact and it's good. Weight is installed right there. It is resting up against the hot shutoff valve. Um, but it shouldn't hinder performance. In other words, it shouldn't get caught on anything underneath. Um, it's not a lot of... Uh, of uh, spray hose that'll come out before it stops and in other words it doesn't pull out too far you can see that's as far as it pulls out right there and uh, but it's fine a little fussy getting it back up in there if it's sideways it kind of sits in crooked if you spin it over here it sits up in there real nice so not sure about that not my faucet didn't manufacture it moans great product um and it's installed we did note a little bit of leaking around this packing not the hot side um, it was dripping and it was pretty calcified. We could tell when we turned them off it was uh, grinding in there. So uh, this one started dripping when we turned it back on. We did tighten the nut down just slightly. You can't over tighten those. And uh, the leak has gone away <clears throat> over on the cold side. Same thing there. You can see uh, no dripping currently. So everything looks good. Uh, that's not in our scope of work. Angle stops that leak um, are a separate issue. Uh, we did do it as a point of courtesy. We like to take care of you know things like that while we're here. Uh, no additional charge, but if you get problems with these stops, it's not because we replaced a faucet. Some people, uh, you know, will think that we're we're here to fix everything. We we simply can't. We can only monitor what is happening while we're here, and and repair that. And uh, we have, and so you shouldn't have any trouble with these. Um, but if you do, certainly you can give us a haul to come back out. We could replace these with some quarter turn shutoff valves that don't leak. Uh, those run about, uh, I don't know, $75, $95 each side. Uh, but those are good. I would recommend moving forward. If you have any work that needs to be done in the kitchen, because those are a little fussy back there, both the hot and the cold turning off, you could feel a little grinding in there. I'd just shut the house down and work on the plumbing. Because every time you shut those off, and then turn them back on, you run the risk of them leaking. And then, you know, once they start leaking, you gotta try and tighten them down. You over tighten them and it splits the nut, on and on and on. So, uh, that's what we do sometimes. This home is newer, it appears to be newer, so, uh, you know, the, the valves aren't that old, I would imagine. Um, but I would I would recommend that moving forward. You know, whenever you've run into something like that and you, and you get a leak and you can't fix it, it becomes a problem. Uh, so outside of that, this installation is done.